the bees, things like that. In my life, I've had uh, uh, been fortunate to go and study in Japan. And when I was going there, because we know Japanese and quality, don't we? Nilikuwa nafikiria, I'll go and find robots working. Everything is done by a robot until I arrived there. And my work involved moving some things. First of all, napewa fungue a tractor. Fungue a tractor and I've never sat on a tractor. Then you find the same things that we have. A file, a vice, a table, floors that are broken. But it all starts with the mindset. Because, hapa, if we are making a table, and it's supposed to be uh, four feet, point one, we will make 3.9, and I'm sure the tables that you are with here, ukikonga wonga if you taona in a chesa, here we will say, hiyo meza itafanya, si ukiwekele piko pejua yanguki. But the Japanese, will make sure they provide you four feet point one. And if they don't, they take it back at their cost. And therefore, the issue of quality is instilled in your mind. While I, have, I was doing my tour of duty in government, I happened to serve as a PS in the Ministry of Industrialization, which really exposed me to SMEs and the stories are the same stories of desperation if we actually called you here to say why have you not grown like top quality I know in fact I was telling them don't tell me about capital I know don't tell me about the market I know don't so I would say all these things then I say now talk and they would have nothing else to add. Because we have not structured our mind to know that if you are an SME, it does not save you any materials, it does not save you time, it does not save you money if you have poor workmanship. I don't know whether engineer, if you spray painted a car so that some paint is running, you save paint, do you? Do you save time? No. So you could as well do it because you are not saving time and you are not saving paint. You could as well do it well. And this is a challenge because I need to speak to this for the sake of the ones who are listening. This is the challenge that will actually make us continue going through vicious circles of poverty. Because we have told our minds, if you want karai in a comba, ni razma ukue na ire nyundo unageuza na migu kukigonga. A whole day. So these karais, the one you produced in the morning and the one you produce in the afternoon, don't even look like they come from the same village. Yet, if two of you combined and bought a press, you just be pressing a button and you will produce more carais that look alike, that improve on productivity. That is a mindset. It's not capital. It's equal. Because you just need two people. The press costs 200,000 or less. That money that you are borrowing from equity to buy that press. Then you will press more carais. But we are going further and say, let's look at a simple industry like building industry, the construction industry. I don't know about your village. And uh, Jesse, I want to confirm to you that I'm actually from a village also. But in my village, when people are building houses, there is a general area they call window. Even though in the drawing it's drawn that this window shall be 1.2 meters by 1.2, when they are building, they describe a general area and say there shall be a window. 
then you build and a guy will come now instead of with the 1.2 meter window will come and measure the gap that was left and go well a window that fits into that gap then what happens to our productivity you have to wait until that mwanya is left waiting not making any money so that you can make a window so the flip side if we just decided a window shall be 1.2 meters because stones in we unaekelea we kelea tu acha 1.2 meters it means that the guy who makes windows can have windows ready made kweli so when it is time for you to fix a window you just go and pick it that guy who cuts the paints yakio will cut because they know the windows are standardized and then it will save you time of waiting and we can go on and on what i am talking about is productivity but what are we finding because we have as SMEs in fact uh, those who interacted with me then know there are some words i had banned from my presence kitu kujita sisi ni watu wajua kali you first of all start by defeating your mind that mimi mimi ni jua kali and because god is real and he loves all of us and you are praying to him that you want to be jua kali why wouldn't he grant you that in abundance <laughs> so wewe unakuta unakuwa jua kali here in here yeah. out because you have told your mind me i want to be jua kali so i had banned some words like those you are ent entrepreneurs you have enterprises not jua kali sheds and there you start creating positive thinking that can turn around this country our biggest problem in this country now where i am and uh, just see if you will come back uchunge vile unaongea today is friday you can go in today ni kuachilia monday na si vizuri but i'm very busy trying to chase after better crimes trying to chase after because of a very fundamental thing called unemployment it is because people are unemployed because i don't think uh, there is anybody who is born a thief at wewe unazaliwa tu ukitoka hivi ni mwizi i don't think there is someone like that all these excuses we give ourselves of course lead us to become people of certain characters but there are certain circumstances that force us to be those undesirable characters in society but we can go and uh, analyze it back to the discussion i'm saying here something called unemployment when i was giving this talk when i was fond of it there are 500,000 new entrants to joblessness every year wala watu wanatoka university the ones who come from polytechnics 500000 and we are absorbing a very small number and then we continue punching government for jobs jobs are not created in government jobs are created by entrepreneurs and by the private sector and therefore as we try in government to do whatever it is whether it is for internal security i must do it knowing that i'm doing that to provide a conducive environment for entrepreneurs to come because it's only businesses that are privately owned that will create these jobs but what happens when we don't do that we will have everybody wanting social support 
hospitali unataka, shule unataka, ndiyo unasikia sisi haki yetu hata tuko na wimbo in a country. And instilled it even in our national psyche that even when we are creating our constitution, we create a commission called Commission for Revenue Allocation. Then we ask, where is Commission for Revenue Generation? Where is this thing you are sharing coming from? It comes from production. And production is done by what top quality and your colleagues do. So as I wind up, this occasion today should serve to the other people in this room who have small enterprises. To know that you can do your business honestly. If your work is to sell sand, please watch a kuchanua mchanga gedorai. You will only make a few more shillings and be stupid at the end of it. Square. That is a multi-billion industry. But what do we find? Dishonesty. People who Aezi yacha kitu yako wakiona. Hata wiru baru wakikuja, anachika, anazika na mchanga, anabeba. Because it is all in there. So I want to urge all of us that as we go to spruce our small enterprises, we must copy from the best. People who have walked this journey and succeeded. Uh, I said uh, where we started with Bernard. I am not also branded ISO. But it's a similar story. A story that uh, is meant to tell the young people in this country that you too have a chance. But what do we go back and say to ourselves? Because we want at least to blame this Rikari Maya. Hapa kama auko na mutu unajua hapa ngumu. Try to create excuses in our minds for things that we can do something about. Yeah, one time, as I wind up, because I like reading graffiti, there are times I actually just enter into my tattoos to just read them. <laughs> there is one I saw, read them. Do not think I'm useless, because I can be used as an example. <laughs> and therefore, I want to leave you by encouraging you that all of us with the correct mindset can be what top quality as soon as small enterprises can be. I want to thank you and uh, I'm very proud of you top quality. Asante Nisan. so much, uh, Dr. Kibicho. Wow. Hiyo ni mzuri sana, eh? Tumesikia, eh? Let's appreciate him once more, ladies and gentlemen. Such words are not easy. And, Dr. to be honest, it is true. The mindset. Juhu hata familia nyingi squeezy ni mindset, eh? People, the way they relate with their spouses. It starts here. Know that one, you know. You are seated next to a great man, I know, Mzenge. We have a Mzenge in the house. I appreciate the gentleman. It's not easy to go somewhere with a Mzenge. I'm going to go to a Mzenge. And I'm going to go to a Mzenge. I forgot to say that. Where's the Mzenge? You're a Mzenge. I'm a Mzenge. I am not a Mzenge. No, by the way. Yeah? Asha. <laughs> Ubiana, bila wa hindi hii Kenya. You see the mindset that you're talking about. Bila wa hindi hii Kenya. Eh? Nani watafanya kazi na wakamba? 
You know, I'm Indian, I'm Kamba in Kenya, they work so well. I don't know why. I asked a friend of mine from Kirinyagaru, he's got Patel. I asked him, Patel, why do you love employing the Kamba people? I can say, Let me tell you, Jesse, for sure. Kamba people are very honest. You tell them, Kamba, wait for me here, Mutizo. You go to Bombay for two weeks, you come back, he's still there. <laughs> Kamu said, why don't you like employing Kamau? No, 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 Kamau, I know where to put him. Because if I put him uh, near me and I don't pay him well, he's going to pay himself. Right? This is the mindset, I tell you, for sure. Because I was talking about uh, Amzung, when, when they, even in houses, you know, when, when you know what to have, Marisa Kukula, the dinner is over, and the man and the woman, they are going now to bed. Mzungu say thank you, honey, for, for, for dinner, and good night. Alafu alale. The African man. Hey, the, man uh, the man will atabaki kwa sitting room watching news, and the woman will go to sleep. Agisha kuja. The woman has been sleeping for one hour. You, the man, you finish watching news, you've gone to the bedroom, alafu na muamsha. Umefunga dirisha. After one hour, alikuwa melala, you are watching news. So, it's true, it's about what? The mindset. Let's set the platforms and then other people come and write there. If they can't create jobs, we can create for them, and then they'll come alafu wa? Manzi, sindio? Wae unajua hata mi likuwa nafikiria kasi na kazi. <laughs> yeah, jokes. Hey, it's but thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kibicho. I've been listening so much so that I get to grasp something that I can use in my life. So you've become my mentor automatically. So I'll be watching your speeches. And I'm happy. And you know now he's in the interior security. So nitakuwa safe. No, no. What you wako area? You know, I need to be careful. In the wako area. But thank you so much for being with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, now before I go further, before we we do the unveiling of the ISO certificate that is right here, I want to call some guys here so that we award the certificates of internal audits. They are good at that. So, I want to call upon Engineer Karioki and Mrs. Ngore together with Mrs. Gedenji so that they assist me in awarding these particular individuals. Engineer Karioki, please, welcome here. Let's give a round of applause for Engineer Karioki. All right, so if I call your name, you come, pick your certificate. Do I talk about and you want to own it? Yes, I will have a name what do that mean, checks? <laughs> All right, we have it here. The first to be awarded by Mrs. Gore. Let me have the pleasure of the penny so me. Engineer Bernard Ngore. Let's appreciate Engineer Bernard Ngore. Domo Trivia. Wonderful engineer. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, for top quality. There it has been unveiled the certificate, and it will just remain there because the great guys are going to give it officially to the directors of Top Quality Auto Limited. Engineer 
is to our chief guest, our guest of honor, engineer Kibisho, Dr. Kibisho. You're welcome. Do you shoot a city water to shoot a little kiss? Congratulations. Managing Director, Engineer Bernard Mbore, Board of Directors, Members of the Media, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of Top Quality Family, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers. A big thank you to Honorable Dr. Engineer Karanja Kibicho for, uh, for his efforts towards re rendering speech and for taking time out of his busy schedule to be with us on this great day. I also convey uh, my hearty felt thanks to our board of directors. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation to our distinguished guest, the in uh, engineer Karaoke, and the team, Bureau of Editors, government, insurance companies, suppliers, assessors, corporates, and not to forget our loyal individuals, some of whom have come from as far as Mombasa, Kisumu, Isiolo. I want to convey a special thanks to all those who have assisted us in making this event a success. MCJC and the team, along with Kayamba Africa, Mr. and Mrs. Gituko and the team, Set Pace Events and the team, Emma Daniels Creations, Versatile, Photographers, Crosby International, Media Presence, and Safari Park Hotel Fraternity. <coughs> Last but not least, Tikiwe staff. What can I say? Tumetoka mbali na tunailambali. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to state that we grateful for we are grateful for being with us. 
this evening. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you very much. On behalf of Top Quality Now, uh, I want to appreciate uh, all of you for coming. It's not a vote of thanks. It's uh, my appreciation because we've come to the end of the official program. But this doesn't end here because uh, we still need to network, interact, and uh, make business contacts. All of us here. So, Square Nabio, Hapani Pay to Pakasan Tano go late night. So, come out there that you enjoy and the like you enjoy because top quality has taken care of you here. And as I've reminded you, the Safari Park uh, cash bar is there. Get some wine. Pata Kituambo Nakunyanga. Tonight it has been a great time to get a top quality. Make sure you also make contact with the staff who are top quality. So that we continue enhancing this business and top, top quality directors and management management thank you for having me here to talk to you later now i have to begin with some other things and thank you jam and you need to come management let's make sure you get your directors so let's make sure you get your fans there and you get your fans there so thank you to put it out to start and start and the year 2005 uh, today to 10 years old and uh, when we started, we started with selling spares. Uh, later on, we started repairing vehicles. And uh, we have expanded since we started. Uh, this will be growing year on year. This is simply because of uh, customer focus, uh, customer centric And uh, we focus really on the customer and uh, getting to understand the needs and the requirement of the customer and the purpose to meet them and even exhibit them. So we started to, as a, uh, started off by myself and my wife, Rose, and then uh, after two years, some of the and the wife joined us. And uh, since that time, we were going to try to try. When we started off, there were a few employees, uh, but now we are posting on 110, members of staff, uh, we've been able to open a branch in Moribos, because uh, where we are, the space is not enough. Uh, also, because of the challenge uh, us reaching our customers, who are in far places, we have come up with a franchise model. So actually, what we are launching today is a certification of ISO 1001-2008 QMS. This will help us even in the franchise. Those who the eyes will be able to develop a quality manual to we'll put together systems. And uh, these are the things we'll be passing over to the franchisees. So this franchise, the, the, the model is that uh, uh, anybody who has an interest in running an automotive workshop, as long as he has the capital, uh, that's enough for him to have the know We are able to train, uh, to train the franchisee and the staff are able also to, to, to help them with the logistics on how to set up, on how to, to, to get the good suppliers, and, uh, and all, whatever else encompasses uh, uh, automotive repairs. So uh, today actually is a great day for us because it has been a journey. It has been a 10 year journey. But as our name suggests, uh, Top quality auto is derived from the philosophy of the total quality management. And the same philosophy which I saw in 2001 is based on. So, actually, just as our name suggests, uh, we are all about quality, we are all about 